seven. Today we're starting our fractions, decimals and percentages topic and today we're talking about factors and multiples. Factors of a particular number are the numbers that divide evenly into that number. So that would mean if we were looking at the number 20, 5 would be a factor because 20 divided by 5 goes exactly 4 times. So that's what we mean by go, goes into the number evenly. So every whole number has at least two factors, which is itself and one. Often there is more than that, but it should always have at least those two. Now, if we want to find some factors, we're going to do an example here for the number 20. We want to find the factors written in ascending order. Ascending means increasing order from the smallest up to the largest. Now, the first factor is always going to be one. Okay, then we want to check each number as we count upwards. So 2, does 20 divide by 2 nicely? Yes, it does. So 2 is a factor. What about 3? 20, does 20 divide by 3? No, I would get a, a, a remainder in there, so that doesn't work. Uh, 20 divided by 4, 4? Yes, it does. So that's a factor. Does 20 divide by 5? Yes, that's a factor. Does 20 divide by 6? No. About 7? No. 8? No. 10? Yes. Once you get to halfway, then the next factor is always going to be the number itself. So the last factor will be 20. Okay, you can also see when you look at those factors that they work in pairs. So 1 times 20 makes 20. 2 times 10 makes 20, and 4 times 5 makes 20. So that can be useful in making sure that you don't miss any. Okay, next we want to talk about multiples. The multiples of a particular number are numbers that are created by multiplying the particular number by any positive integer. Now the word integer just means I'm multiplying by another whole number. So if I want to find the first five multiples of 20, my first one, my first multiple of 20 is 20 itself. It's basically 20 times 1, which is 20. Then I want to increase from there. I'm going to go 20 times 2, which is 40. Then 20 times 3, which is 60. 20 times 4, which is 80. And 20 times 5, which is 100. And that is the first five multiples of 20. Okay, let's have a look at the examples that are down here. This is what you're going to need to do. So first of all, example one says find all the factors for the following numbers. So we want to find all the factors of 15. Now what you can do is you can, over on the side of your paper, you can try to think of all the different numbers that multiply to give 20. So for example, 1 times by 15 makes 15. Then I could also think of 3 times this by 5 to make 15. And they're the only ones that I can think of. So those four numbers that are in there are the four factors of 15. Now I want to write them in ascending order. And you can see them here. It would be 1, 3, then you go 5, 15. So let's write those down. So the factors would be 1, 3, 5, 15. Let's try that again for our next one, which is the number 40. We want to find all the factors. So again, let's see if we can find all the different things that multiply to give 40. 1 times is with 40. Okay, let's increase a little bit, about 2 times by 20. 3 is not going to work, 4 times is with 10, and 5 times is with 8, 6 isn't going to work, and 7 isn't going to work. Okay, so to write those factors in order, I would go down these numbers, 1, 2, 4, 5, and then back up this way, 8, 10, 20, 40. So let's write those down. One, two, 
four, five, eight, 10, 20, and 40. So you may not need to write the multiplications over here on the side of the page. If you are able to write the list out straight away, that is excellent. Just be very careful that you don't miss any of the factors. Okay, example two, you want to list the first six multiples for each number. So multiples are basically the times tables. So I want the first six times tables, which are the multiples of two. So two times one is two. So two is the first multiple. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 6 is 12. So that's the first 6 multiples. Okay, let's do that again for our second number here. We want the first 6 multiples of 11. So our 11 times tables. 11 times 1 is 11. 11 times 2 is 22. 11 times 3 is 33. 11 times 4 is 44. 11 times 5 is 55, and 11 times 6 is 66. And that's it. Question 3 down the end is one to make you think a little bit. We want to express 500 as a product of two factors, both of which are greater than 10. So what that is asking me to do, the word product means multiply. So I'm looking for two numbers two factors that multiply together to make 500. Okay, now the easiest times table that you could probably see from there would be 10 times by 50. Okay, let's write that down, 10 times by 50. Okay, that makes 500. But the problem is it says that both of the factors need to be greater than 10. Okay, equal to 10 is not greater than 10. Okay, so that, that, those two numbers, 10 and 50, are not going to cut it for this question. So it's not too easy to find your times tables after the 10 times table that, that go into 500. So here's a little trick that you can do. What I could do is I could double the 10, which goes to 20, and to compensate for that, I would halve the 50 which is 25. So 20 times 25 would also be equal to 500. And both of those numbers are above 10. So those are the two factors that I'm after, 20 and 25. Okay, that's it.